One of the key parts of resolving any support case is granting login access, but it's a step that often gets overlooked. If you provide us with a case filled with detail and grant login access, our engineers can provide you with resolution quickly. When you think about granting login access, remember to grant access for the user that's having the problem. For example, if it's your sales manager who is unable to create opportunities, then login access needs to be granted by that user. Granting login access is slightly different in every environment, and we'll go over that in detail. But the basic premise is the same. You go to your settings, select Grant Login Access, and choose the duration. Here's how to grant login access in Salesforce. In many cases, it's the Salesforce admin who's logging a case on behalf of the user who's experiencing the problem. So they must be able to grant access to Salesforce support as that user. First, in Setup, search for Login and select Login Access Policies. Make sure Administrators can log in as any user is enabled. Then, navigate to the Users and you'll see there's a Login button next to each of your users. Now you can log in as the user who is experiencing the issue. Once you are logged in as the user who is experiencing the issue, go to Personal Settings, enter Login Access in the Quick Find box, then select the option to Grant Login Access. Set the expiration date by choosing a value from the dropdown. Best practice is to choose the shortest amount of time you think necessary. You can always extend it if needed. Click Save. Now Salesforce Support has access to research the problem. Here's how to grant login access in Marketing Cloud. There is no permission in Marketing Cloud to enable an admin to log in as any user. So if the admin is having the issue, then the admin will follow this process. Or if it's an end user having the issue, the admin should provide these instructions to the end user so they can grant login access to Salesforce support. First, log into your Marketing Cloud account. At the top right, hover over your username to reveal the drop-down menu and select Cloud Preferences. In User Settings, select the button in the toolbar for Grant Account Login Access. Select a duration. We recommend choosing at least a 7 to 10 day duration since you can revoke this as needed. And then click Save. Here's how to grant login access to Salesforce support for CPQ. Under your profile in the upper right corner, click Settings. Search for Login Access and select the option to Grant Account Login Access. Set the expiration date by choosing a value from the dropdown. Best practice is to choose the shortest amount of time you think necessary. You can always extend it if needed. Click Save. Now Salesforce Support has access to research the problem. A complete case form along with the correct login access is the ideal combo for getting help fast. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or tap into the wisdom of our entire Trailblazer community.